No. What do you actually think you would do now if it went away? Genuinely. Oh, what would I have done or what would I do no, now? No, it went away. If it went away now, what would you do? Oh, and podcasting. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, no. Podcast go. gone. I can't do anything to do with comedy. No. Yeah, comedy still exists, but you're sort of banished no, from it. No, no, no. I tell you, I tell you what, it's, it's worse, right? You can be involved in comedy, but it's only as a you can only ever be credited as a writer on something. Okay, well, I'm out then. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's never no one. To like, you. There's a reason I've done no writing in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. No one's even asked. Yeah. No one's ever been like, could you write some stuff for me? Everyone's like, yeah, you're struggling to get your own stuff up there. Um, you can write. I'd have to leave up. Laura and fucking go. Because Laura does not want to be married to me if I cannot live in the Northwest and be involved in podcasting or comedy. So everyone's like, they're so in love. She'd be happy to be like, all right, fuck off. I'll, I, you restart, I'll restart. Yeah. I want to be some Dan fat white twat on a kibbutz. Yeah. I yeah. loved DanNightingale.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she says. Yeah. Just as I go to sleep. I'd be one of those weird cunts. Yeah, I'd like go on a strip somewhere like Malia or Benidorm. You know, but one of those like, oh, why are you so old? Why are you still here? Yeah. Broken like second time round, hiding from child support. <laughs> That'd be me. I'd go abroad. Definitely. I'd be one of those people who like scams people in the street. You know, like uh, you got to hold on to the fucking bar for 30 seconds. You and two grand. Yeah. I'd get one of them, mate. Yeah. Uh, people trying to go, are you Adam Rowe? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I am the <laughs> tickle bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I'd, I'd, be a sc I'd be a scam artist, 100%. What about them fellas who just stand dead still? And people give them money. Yeah, but I don't think anyone does give them money. I'm convinced because I'm seeing less and less of them. I think they've all realised that's not a viable business. Just starved. <laughs> it's same with the sand dog men. You know the ones who make a fucking dog out of sand? No, it's a fucking set, innit? I know. I What? Yeah. Do you know, have you seen when you walk down the street and there's a fucking dog made out of sand? Oh, yeah. You ever right. seen them being made? I have not. Exactly. Right. So I got up. <laughs> I got up really, 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 really early. On purpose. So Sorry, I thought you were just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Got up really, really early to go to London one day. I, I had to get like the six o'clock train. Yeah. So I'm walking through Liverpool city centre. He's got a fucking plastic dog and he just covers that in sand. Yeah. Wait, oh wait, hold on. Oh, so, I thought wait, it was wait, like wait. a jelly thing. Yeah, it? yeah, I it thought... is. It's like a set thing. Like a bucket of spade. Wait, right. So... <laughs> so you want to get your bullshit right, Adam? Is it, does the sand go over the plastic? Or do you put the sand in the plastic and then no, he just sticks the wait, sand the way, to a dog? So it's the way you oh, make a real dog. <laughs> no. <laughs> a dog. Has to buy a new dog every day. <laughs> <laughs> and hope it lies still. <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was sand sculpting classes in like the, the camps in Calais. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's all they were yeah. doing, like, okay, yeah. 10 o'clock, Look, come well, to the big tent. And you will paint yourself silver, stand over there. Yeah. While you're all down here on the beach anyway, <laughs> why not learn how to... Look, I know your son's body's over there, around him. Put the sun over. Put the sand over. We'll make it look like a dog. It's not even going to look like your dead son anymore. I turned the corpse of your dead son on the beach into... It's a sandy dog. You don't like dogs? Fuck this country. Uh, it is suspicious that it's always a dog, isn't it? No it's one has ever same. gone... I did cat. Never do cat. Yeah. There's one in Liverpool who does a dolphin. What? Does a sand dolphin? Fucking... It's fucking Maverick. massive as well. He's the Picasso of refugees. <laughs> <laughs> he paints them. There's also a blind fellow who plays the guitar and he's deaf or not blind. Deaf yeah. or not blind. We've took, we've took, yeah, we've, yeah. yeah. With his dog. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the best heckles Plastic I've dog. ever, sorry. <laughs> Go on. One of the best heckles I've ever uh, heard of. I wasn't in the room, but I've heard it from good sources. Blind man and his dog were in this comedy club just at the back and there's this red raw stand where his new comedians are going up. And apparently this guy goes on stage and he's just eating shit for like fucking three minutes, utter silence, which is tough at the Glasgow stand because they're a great audience, to the point where apparently this, this blind guy at the back just yells out, mate, I'm blind and even I can see your shit. Right? <laughs> Whole audience laughs, only laugh this guy's got during his set, like, and, and it floors him. There's no response in him. Like the fact that the audience laugh is just enough for him to just be so dejected that for like an extra five or ten seconds, he just stands there in silence. And then the same voice goes, has he left? <laughs> oh. Oh. And then you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the dog barked, that's, it's not even. <laughs> <enough. laughs> Gonged off by a dog. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs>